here's a fun one for you. How many of you have dwelled in the what if? How many of you have just lived in the past too long? And well, what if this would have went this way? What if that would have went that way? Well, okay, what if? Think about this. Did you become the person you are today because of the trials that you've had in your life? Have you ever thought about the trials, the trials in life actually make you the person you are? So we can sit here and say, I shouldn't have drank all those years. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have talked to this person. Shouldn't have had that job. Shouldn't have quit this job. Like, what if I didn't do all these things? They wouldn't make you the person you are today. We literally are shaped into who we are from our mistakes. Can I say that I wish I didn't drink? Well, yeah, but guess what? It made me realize that, I mean, it shaped the person I am. So what if I never picked up those shots when I was 15 years old? What if I didn't get into the drinking crowd when I was in high school? What if I didn't, you know, associate with this person and that person? I mean, all the what ifs, but it's who I am. It brought me to here. It's leading me to help others through my experiences. And it's hard because we want to sit there and just, man, what if I would have said yes to that person? What if I would have married that person and not this person? What if I would have drank this beer and not that alcohol? What if I would have actually worked out? What if I didn't eat the cheeseburger? And what if I ate the salad? I mean, all the what ifs. What if I never decided to do 75 hard? That's a, that's a tough one. Because what if that day that everybody else did it and I decided not to do it? I would probably still be drinking. I'm not gonna lie. I would probably definitely be, still be drinking. I would still be the life of the party. I'd still be probably hosting events. But what does that do for me? What does that do for my family? What does that look like for my future? I mean, all of you that have reached out to me and said that I've helped you quit drinking, some of you are approaching a year. Some of you I've helped stay sober. What if I never did 75 hard? I wouldn't be here. I mean, who knows what I would be doing? Who knows? what situation in life I would have ended up putting myself in because I just kept drinking. I mean, I am I was tired of having a poor quality life. And I don't know about you, but now that I've let go of alcohol, I realize that all those what ifs led me to be the person I am. Whether that was trialing times, I've definitely learned to look at the positive side of things instead of dwelling on the, yeah, what if I had, you know, what if we grew up in rich families? What if we had inheritances? What if we had trust funds? What if our parents owned multi-billionaire companies? What if, what if your parents never drank or smoked? What if your parents, you know, went to church every Sunday? We have to learn from our own ways and our own trials in life to become the person we end up being. Whether that be a shitty person or a good person, that's totally up to you. That's not how your parents raised you. That's not how your grandparents raised you. That's not how the church raised you or, you know, your friends influenced you. How the person that you become is through your trials and your errors, trial and error. I'm telling you. How many of you have tried quitting drinking and relapsed? And thought to yourself, what if I just didn't have that other drink? I would have never been here. Well, maybe your story will help somebody else through a relapse and help them quit drinking. I have had so many people say, how do you get through a relapse? I Honestly, I don't know how you get through a relapse. I will be 100% honest that from the day that I quit drinking is the day that I t- asked myself, what if a life free of alcohol was the life I'm supposed to live? And I never wanted to touch it again because I've seen way too many people have too many what ifs with alcohol. And I've heard relapses are terrible. I just have never understood. If you've quit drinking, you've gone through the whole entire process 
of withdrawing and going to rehab or AA or, you know, all these outpatient, all these things, if you put yourself through the misery of detoxing from alcohol and putting yourself through like classes and stuff, why would you ever want to touch alcohol again? Is it the peer pressure? Is it society? Is it stress? Is it, what if I could just drink this one and not have another one? No, because that's not how it is. What if I just went to dinner with my friends and just had one drink? No, usually that's not how it is. And if, if that's how it is for you, then kudos to you because for a lot of us, that is not the way it is. What if I stayed 20 pounds heavier and still just kept working out and eating like crap? I mean, I would just get unhealthier as we went. So I went through something really terrible in my life a couple years ago and I, it was really traumatic, very, very traumatic. And after I got through the very beginning of this tragic event, it took me probably four to six months to realize that I had to quit saying, what if I never was there? What if I never took that drink? But at the end of the day, I got to thinking about it. Those what ifs, all the positives that came through that tragic experience, I'm home with my kids now. I get to be here for them in the mornings for school because previous to this event, I was stressing about everybody else in my life. I have to get to the gym. I have to train people. People are relying on me, not thinking of what it was doing to my family. And yes, this tragic event did cause a lot of issues in my family for quite a while. I mean, there's still lots of things to work on. People are absolutely disgusting human beings, but I can always say, what if that never happened to me? I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be the mom that I've become. I wouldn't be helping others quit drinking. I can help people work out all day long and they're only gonna put their own effort into it. I can't hold people's hands all the time. But when you make a life decision to quit drinking, that is a huge, huge thing. So looking at those trials, those traumatic experiences and look for the positive in it. I sat down, I sat down with my counselor one day and I don't know, it just came to me. And I said, you know what? I have been thinking about this. Yes, that day sucked terribly. The weeks and months trying to get myself back together. I had this just, oh, I'm home now. I'm not waking up at 4.30 in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. I'm not having to be somewhere at five o'clock in the morning and then be too tired for my kids by the end of the day because mommy went to bed at 10 probably drunk, waking up hungover, having a long day. So by the time when you wake up at 3.30 or 4 and you get your kids by like 3 p.m., it's a long day. I didn't have the patience. I was, I dreaded weekends away because come Sunday, I was full of anxiety and stress trying to get ready for the week. And after this situation happened, my life was free. It was a freeing experience. I can go on the weekends now with my family and not stress about waking up at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning come Monday morning. I don't have to rush home on Sundays. I can sit in the evenings with my kids and cuddle and watch movies. I can play games. I can do cook dinner. I can thoroughly enjoy my life. As hard as some of these moments may seem to you sometimes, just focus on the positive through the trials. I'm telling you, if you wanna soak in the pity party your whole entire life, I mean, that's not gonna get you anywhere in life. I, I was miserable for a while. I mean, I still have my moments, but it changed my life. Who knows where, like I could say like, what if that never happened? And what if I was able to do this and that? And, but on the, at the end of the day, those what ifs don't matter anymore. Those, what this person did to me, he actually freed my life from a life that I probably like, didn't need to be in. I think it was probably God's way of saying like, this is not the route you should be taking. And I went back to being a stay at home mom. I didn't get back into personal training for probably a year. 
And then by the time that year came, I started 75 Hard. And since 75 Hard, my life has completely changed. All those trials, all those tragic moments, all those test, testing times in life. I mean, do you have a moment in your life where it was so traumatic and you just couldn't get over it and you still just dwell on it? Have you ever thought about looking at like all the positives that came from it? And I know some of you are gonna be like, there's no positives through these. Yes, there is. If it means just five extra minutes of self-care for yourself or five extra minutes to be with your children, I mean, it, being able to just focus on life more and I don't know, it's just, there are positives through all these things and you just have to quit playing the pity party, work through your trials, suck it up buttercup and move on with your life. What if you never started drinking in high school, but now you're sober? Did it completely ruin your life or now do you have a way of being able to help people by sharing your story or encouraging your children or you know friends or other family members to quit drinking or have other people look in the mirror uh, and be like, oh, well, they did it. I mean, there's people that have been drinking for 30 plus years and they are sober now. So many of you are so inspiring and I'm just saying you have to stop with the what ifs and realize that it's okay to fail and that's how we learn. I mean, I want to dwell in my past and be like, well, I could have been this way. I could have been this, that way, maybe. But my kids still love me. My husband still loves me. My family still loves me. I mean, the friends that still come around and invite us to things, they still love me. I mean, my life did not change for the worst by giving up something that so many people say, what if I never had that drink? Or what if I just had one more? You can't live like that. It's a miserable miserable life. Your first step would be mentally see where you are in life and what do you need to do? What do you need to do to pick yourself up? You start with a journal. You start with a good inspirational book. You listen to a podcast. You do some yoga. You meditate. You go for a walk. You talk to somebody. It all starts with you. What if from this day forward your life could forever be changed for the better? and you never have to live in those what-if moments ever again. I would like to know what your guys' what-ifs are and how you've overcame them. I mean, we all have stories. It's just who wants to tell their story. Maybe your story will help somebody, but please like, comment, and subscribe so we can keep building this community and helping each other.